How to displace an EV? The quick answer being the displacement modifier. This is a condensed three-ish minutes of me clicking buttons in Blender. The textures I'll use will all be from Texture Haven, also known as HDRI Haven. It is free, it is great. Also check out Bridge by Quixel, which contains the Megascan libraries for free. Okay, so while I build the scene, I'm going to tell you what frustrates me about Eevee. From what I understand, Eevee is supposed to give you an idea of what an asset or what you're building is uh, going to look like once you actually import it into a game engine. Eevee lacks adaptive subdivision. Cycles has that. Uh, you can't use the displacement uh, node in the shader area. Unreal Engine 4 has a tessellation feature where it will, just like adaptive subdivision in cycles, it will subdivide, tessellate, an object based on how close you are to it. So I just don't see any reason Eevee shouldn't have the, that feature. I hope it does soon. I haven't seen it in 2.83, but I hope at some point really soon we get that feature so I can just start using Eevee. Because in Cycles, you really need that adaptive subdivision when you're using the displacement out here and you're running a bunch of procedural you know, textures and whatnot into it. It can get very CPU intensive, which is why it's nice to have something that can ease that. Now, switching over to Eevee, there's no longer a need for the displacement node. You have already imported the displacement material just by dropping the texture into the shader screen. So going to modifiers, adding displacement modifier, selecting new, texture coordinates to UV, going to your material tab, and instead of opening a file, which you can do, you can go and open the file, you would just select it from the drop down because you already put it inside of the shader editor. And there you go, displacement. At this point, you want to just spend the time to adjust the parameters while the viewport subdivision amount is up. And once it gets good there, you then lower that down, move on to the next object, keep the render one high so that when it renders it, looks like how you left it. Well, there you go. Displacement Nevi, if you didn't know. Okay, bye.